الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, as you know, I am here in Syria. This is Harem in Idlib city. Uh, Alhamdulillah, around Idlib. Uh, and we are here, we've been talking about the women's hospital. A hospital in general, this will have over 700 beds. Uh, it's going to be one of the main hospitals in this area. An area that has close to 2 million people in this area. Uh, so, uh, and many, as you know, 60% of the hospitals in this area in general in uh, what we call the free areas are being closed due to lack of funding money there's many issues going on and then but uh, patients are growing uh, hospitals are needed specialities are needed uh, people with special skills are needed so uh, we are here of course with dr uh, uh, yusuf uh, yusuf sheikh uh, so what's going on tell us a little bit about this hospital with 700 beds pediatric and women's hospital so we are standing, we are in the women's wing, I guess this is called the section, women's yeah. section. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah, after we started this project, we were able to open the pediatric hospital, which you saw has been functioning and running for uh, since March, April now, Alhamdulillah. Uh, that was around Ramadan time, we opened it, Alhamdulillah. Now we moved on to the second phase of this project, which is the women's hospital, Alhamdulillah. And as you can see, the women's hospital is finished and ready now, Alhamdulillah. The project itself is a general hospital and inshallah, by the permission of Allah and by the, by the support of your donors, we hope to finish the whole project. And when we finish the whole project, inshallah, it will be a general hospital with everything. So we'll have the women's uh, and the children's hospital, we'll have the internal medical hospital, the surgical hospital, you know, we'll even have a cardiac catheterization service, as well as, uh, you know, cardiac surgery, a full radiology department with MRI machines, CT scanners and everything. So basically, we are trying to build a mega hospital where a patient comes to one place mm. and is able to get all the services. There's no need to keep uh, uh, transferring the patient from hospital to hospital to get a complete service. And that's how the system is here right now. Right now, the hospitals we have in Italy, they are very small hospitals, like 50 beds, 70 beds on average. You know, that's the kind of number of beds, 80 beds. Mm. And they don't have all the services. So they're having to go from location to location to get the services. So that's costing families a lot of money. And on top of that, we're in a war zone. It's dangerous for families. Mm. And we're losing so many people because they're moving from uh, place, place to place, place. and they're, they're sick, coming. they're sick as well, and exactly with winter coming up as well. So Alhamdulillah, this is a major project that inshallah will serve this whole section of Idlib, and it will be the mega hospital, a beacon of hope for the people. Yeah, in actually I was talking to one of the doctors yesterday, um, subhanAllah, we, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time with the doctors, and they were saying that with, with, with hospitals like Babul Haba might close, and uh, you're looking at good, I mean, it's one of the big hospitals here. That's so right. So this hospital is going to become one of the main, yeah, it's on center stage now, to be honest. This one and then Shifa. Yeah. This is about maybe four big hospitals in the area, I think. And the, yeah, you have the university hospital that's still running with the yeah. Shifa hospital, Alhamdulillah. We have the Al Jabal Azari hospital or the national hospital that the Alhamdulillah Islamic courses don't. Uh, Islamic courses donors were fundamental in, in establishing this project. So Alhamdulillah, you know, we are stepping up at a time when the, when the need is there. And as you mentioned, 60% of hospitals are losing funding and closing. So we, we really have to step up quick, mm. get these departments open and, and get the hospital in 100% capacity, inshallah. Inshallah. All right, brothers, we have a lot more to talk about, inshallah. We'll keep coming back to you. Zakmallahu khairan, Haram, Idlib, Syria. Assalamu alaikum.